Hey everybody, welcome to the AI Guy, where we focus on the human impact of AI. And today is more of a background story. You'll see why. So Andreessen Horowitz 415 million Mistral investment rounds out its AI strategy. So in case you guys aren't aware, Andreessen Horowitz is the preeminent venture capital firm in the world. And they invest in many, many different things, but like most VCs in the last five years, they have pivoted to AI. So we're gonna hear more about what they've been up to. 12 years ago, Andreessen Horowitz said, AI will save the world. Andreessen Horowitz, which goes by A16Z, has made a play to own every part of the generative AI value chain with more than 20 investments to date. The firm has backed healthcare and bioscience AI startups, code automation, and development companies, and startups working on large language models, LLM, and their infrastructure. So LLMs work with a massive database that has a very specialized structure and an AI neural net brain to analyze that data. The firm's latest investment leading a 415 million Series A for Mistral AI at a reported 2 billion valuation, rounds out this AI strategy with A16Z's first bet on an open source large language model creator. So my viewers may remember from my TED AI videos done in October that there's a huge debate going on in the AI community between proprietary models like OpenAI and open source models. So Andreessen has made their first bet on open source with Mistral AI. Said Mark Andreessen, co-founder of Andreessen Horowitz, the Mistral investment open source AI should be allowed to freely proliferate and compete with both big AI companies and startups. There should be no regulatory barriers to open source whatsoever. So as you know from my prior videos, there's been a lot of regulation starting to come out to control the development and spread of AI. Why? Because it will have a serious human impact in many different ways. And what A16Z is saying is that this closed end AI models, which no one understands how they work, except, except the people at the companies that made it, should be regulated, but open source, which is freely available to everyone, should not be. And by the way, the majority of TED speakers were pushing hard for open source AI. Startups are embracing open source LLMs at the behest of their investors as these models are more customizable and cheaper to deploy. OpenAI's ChatGPT and Anthropic's Claude have a licensing model that is very expensive. Investors like Andreessen claim that open source models will drive down costs and level the playing field. And that's basically the theme of the speakers at TED. To further support the development of open source models, A16Z launched a grant program in August of 2023, backing those working to create more open source models. A16Z is one of the most active investors in generative AI. In September, it invested an AI drug discovery specialist in Septiv's 100 million round. And in April, the firm led vector database startup Pinecone's 100 million Series B. V vector database, by the way, is the specific database type that LLMs use that I was referring to a couple of minutes ago. Despite a broader VC trend in which deals are primarily flowing to startups working on underlying technology powering AI, meaning LLMs, A16Z has also backed AI content creation startups investing in Ideogram's 16.5 million seed round. So clearly, Andreessen has been at the focal point of AI for a while now. By the way, they backed OpenAI and Anthropic. So 
These guys have been at the hub of it all, but way before AI had its breakthrough year last year in 2022, Andreessen was investing across the tech spectrum. This is a massive firm. So who are the companies that they have invested in, in AI? Mistral, which we just talked about, they invested 583.2 million. So this is a huge VC with billions to deploy at its command. Anyscale, 260 million. Replit, 227 million. Sourcegraft, 223 million. Character.ai, 193 million. Labelbox, 189 million. Pinecone, 138 million. Inceptive, 120 million. Cresta, 157 million. Big Hat Bioscience, 104 million. And Hippocratic AI, 65 million. So to wrap up, Andreessen specifically. There was another study I talked about in a short a little while ago that basically said Andreessen not only is one of the largest VCs in the entire world, but they're also the most successful by far in terms of picking winners. So these guys are really, really good at what they do. Why? Because a normal VC firm 90% of their investments will fail, 10% will be successful, but those 10% usually create enough value at exit to more than make up for the losses from the other 90%. This is why people start VC firms. However, Andreessen's success rate is at least three times more successful than the typical VC, at least three times. And it might be much more than that. So why is this important and why did I do this segment? First of all, Andreessen drives AI along with Google's DeepMind and OpenAI, which is backed by Microsoft. Why does this matter? Well, this means that three groups of people being A16Z, Google DeepMind, and OpenAI are driving the future of AI right now. This is why Andreessen just invested in open source, because this is too concentrated. It would concentrate enormous power in a very small number of companies, which is not good for the economy. It is not. There's a million studies on this. You can read about them. But people are now hoping that open source will act as a counterbalance, just as Mark Andreessen said, to this domination of AI by a very few firms. So this is really important for us humans because these few huge companies do not care about the human impact. They do not. Open source is developed by a much broader segment of the population, many of whom do care about the human impact of AI. So this is really, really important stuff. And it's at the foundation of what AI will do in the economy. So thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Please like, subscribe, and share. I really, really need that now. I'm over the thousand subscribers. I'm working on watch time. I really need your help on watch time by liking, subscribing, and sharing. So thanks so much. Take care. See you next time. Bye.